One of the ways you can keep sharing your creative gifts with the world is by taking your YouTube videos and turning those into blog posts. Now you're thinking, oh great, something else to do. <laughs> Except I found an amazing AI tool that will take your YouTube videos, turn them into blog posts, like in 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 no time at all. I'd, I'd snap up my fingers already. And I wanna show it to you, but before I show you the tool, I wanna show you the website I created, the blog post I created, and then I'm gonna show you the tool and I think you're gonna be blown away. By the way, I'm Kevin Colby, and I hope you get a lot out of this, so let's dive in. Okay, so let's go to kevincolby.blog, and once you get there, here's the site that I created. Now, this site is a fully functional site. Um, it's a WordPress site. I'm also using Hostinger for my website. Actually, I should say website. We Hostinger is an amazing deal. It's an amazing platform. The, the plan I'm on, you can have up to 100 website, so it allows me to play. I'll put a link to Hostinger down in the description. All of these posts right here, in fact, let's just click on this one right here. All of these posts were made with this AI tool. Everything here, in fact, it took me longer to find my theme that I wanted for the for the website than it did to create the post. But I even put an about page here on the site because I wanna be clear in here that I talk about that I'm using AI to generate these posts. I don't want somebody to feel like I've written that, even though you'll have the opportunity to change everything. So let me show you the amazing site. Now the site is called videotoblog.ai and you're looking at it right here. So this is like my dashboard, it says dashboard right there. These are all the blogs that have been created from my YouTube videos. So like, for example, let's just click this one, the last one I've done. And it's based on this video right here. So if you just check this out, we go back over to the blog post and there's the post. And you can see it almost side by side. So now let me show you how to do it and how fast it is. So here we are on my YouTube channel in the in the studio and I'm on content and I'm just gonna grab this video right here. It was about kind of my production workflow and I'm gonna get the link. That's just one of the many ways. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna go to create blog and I'm going to paste it in. Now, before I hit create blog, you have so many options here. Now, what you're looking at is what I have saved as my default. I don't wanna jump ahead, but I will a little, so you can do save as default. So you have the option to do length. I've chosen short, I just think it's better for me. English is my, is my language. Tone, now you can combine. Right here, I have decided I wanna go with conversational and informational because I'm more of a conversational kind of dude. First person, I want it to sound like it's me talking to you in the blog. Now you can also add other things here like key phrases and things like that. So I'm gonna put video, oops, video production uh, workflow. We'll just say that. You can give it other instructions. Now you can also upload a video. I haven't tried that here. And these are other things you can set, generate a featured image. The one thing about this tool is you have the choice the first time, it'll either generate an image or it will embed the video. It won't do both at the same time. And I've talked to the owner about that, it'd be really cool, but right now this is the way it goes. So I choose to embed the video the first time, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the image here. You're gonna like that. Generate SEO metadata. This is huge, especially if you're doing a blog for Google and things like that. Generate email social media posts. I'll show you that in a minute. You can add FAQ section, table of contents, embed the video, we just talked about that. You wanna make it public, that's up to you hide attribution, and add a custom footer, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So when you've done all that, you're gonna hit create a blog. And keep in mind, those were my default settings. And here it is. Now, it probably took maybe less than a minute to, to create this, and you can go through. I, in fact, I would encourage you to go through and just double check things. Occasionally, get some things wrong. Let's say you don't like this title right here. Well, let's say I wanna say video production workflow, how to, what if I say uh, how to, protect your, I wanna say protect your creative work. Okay, it just changed it. For some reason, it, it can't get my name spelled right. So like my grandfather used to say, always, always make sure they got your name spelled right. So there it is. You can add hyperlinks in here if you want to. I'm not gonna do this yet, but like I, when I'm talking about my, my drive, I can add a link in there as well. Now you remember I mentioned the image versus the embedded video. So here's what I love. This is the way I'm doing it. 
I put a, a, a space there. I usually come down here and put a space too, but I go back here and it gives me these three options. I can add a table, I can add a video, I've already got a video, or I can add, insert an image. Now, if you already have a thumbnail, you can do that. I've been choosing to let AI generate the image because I just, I like it. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to choose that. And it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more for me in the blog. There you go. Now, let's say you don't like that one. I actually like that one. All you have to do is click it, delete it, choose the uh, generate again, and it'll generate another one. And it'll just keep doing that until you have one you like. Now, I personally like this. So check this out. I'm going to export it. These are the options you have. You can actually just copy the link and just share it as a link if you want to. HTML, you can copy that. You can embed that into a site. Text markdown. I have no idea what that is a Word doc, a PDF. This is where, to me, I think that it really just speeds up. You can actually export it to WordPress.com, WordPress.org. That's what my site is on. I'm going to show you that right now. You can also export to Medium and Blogger. I have talked to the guy that created this to say, you know, it'd be really nice if you could incorporate other sites and places like that. I think he's working on it. It has to do with backend. I don't understand. You can also share it to social media as well. So I'm going to click this, and it's publishing it right now to my blog site. So now we get this message. You can click here to look at it, but I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go back here and I wanna show you something pretty cool here in a minute, but let's go to my website. And if I just refresh it, there's the blog post it just created. Now check it out and it's there. I mean, it is there. In fact, if I go back over here, here's, here's the same thing. You can see it back and forth. I mean, that's crazy, including my footer. Now, since this is on a WordPress site, I could actually go into my WordPress, uh, into this post on there, and I could edit it in there. It's not like I have to go back to the AI tool, but that's that's something you can do. But I want to show you something else that really makes this tool cool. So you see these little three dots right here. If I click them, you can regenerate the blog. So let's say you don't like it. You just want to do it again. You can do that. You will lose what it just did. Uh, SEO metadata. So it's going to show you all the metadata that it just created for this. So I'm gonna close that and check this out. I had that, it, I wanted it to create like the social media post, they call it promotion. It created an Instagram post, it created a Facebook post, a Twitter post, and a LinkedIn post, and a WhatsApp post, even an email promotion. So you could copy and paste this, and now maybe you don't like the wording of it, you don't have to do that. But isn't that so cool? And then you can also, you can look at the transcript. You can add an image screenshot. You go back here to your dashboard and you see everything you've created. Now, let me show you the settings that you might want to dial in as well. Language is English for me. Here is my custom footer. So by putting this in there, including some hyperlinks, this will be on every blog post that this site generates. And you remember I showed you where you can connect it to here, wordpress.com. I already have it connected to wordpress.org, my blog site I showed you. You can only do one WordPress site at a time, but you can also connect it to Medium and Blogger as well. I love playing with AI, but I, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the cooler AI tools I've ever, ever used. And in fact, it'll keep me just sharing my YouTube videos in a blog post this way. So if you want to check it out, there's a link to that down in the description, along with Hostinger as well, which is so cool and affordable tool. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the videos coming up now, and I'll see you next time. Keep creating.